No, oh, buddy, there's so much mystery and turmoil and like it's just fucking crazy. A lot man. of world's oldest tractor vibes. Oh, dude. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh Big yeah. Big time. Uh, it is definitely it is definitely a world uh, uh, built on a lot of strong personalities, and therefore you get these, these awesome, amazing saga uh, that unfolded from 2008 to, to, to 2014, right? So, um, I mean, just to get right into it. So August 12th, 2008, a press release goes out and announces in big capital letters and headlines on a couple of newspapers, Bigfoot body found. This is not unusual. I mean, if you read the week, well, weekly world pretty, news, you see this. You see this like every other month. This was know? unusual because it was getting major, some major headlines of other than the weekly world news. Like it, this was. Yeah, this wasn't next to the fucking Bat Boy speaks. Yeah, like that, right. Yeah, like this was right. This was on. This was on a bunch of newspapers um, coming out and people saying that that uh, you know it had claims in there like DNA evidence and photo evidence of the creature would be presented at this press conference that was taking place on August fifteenth at noon uh, at the Cabana Hotel in Palo Alto, California. You know what? Just this has just really struck me as odd. How come we've never done a dedicated case file to Bat Boy? Because like that Bat Boy was such a big part of my childhood. Like going through the grocery stores, absolutely. Seeing him well, on those I magazines. Mean, yeah, we could cover his whole. Li- I mean, he ran for president in two thousand sixteen or <laughs> oh, that's whatever. Really yeah. Bat Boy did twenty twenty. Yeah. yeah, I think he ran for president. We should do his biography on a kid. It, Bigfoot. Bigfoot was his running mate. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm not joking. <laughs> that's fucking awesome. Why did the America would be in such a better place if Bigfoot and Bat Boy won? It's true. Make America spooky again? Like, what was this yeah. fucking platform? People, yeah. people weren't thing. ready for the first, uh, the United States, the U.S. first cryptid president. Yeah, it's bullshit. <laughs> Just... All right, so we're close-minded. So, so a press re- press release goes out on October twelfth, saying on October fifteenth they're going to present, August or August fifteenth rather, that they're going to present a creature commonly known as Bigfoot found in the woods in northern Georgia. At, there's going to mm-hmm. present there's it at a, a hotel. Body that had been found, or more uh, commonly known as. On that documentary, Seth Squelch. Seth Squelch. Seth Squelch. There's a Seth Squelch. The press release listed out a bunch of like little tidbits, a little juicy information, uh, kind of like a, a little like rundown of what the actual, uh, uh, you know, bits of description of this creature that they were going to present. Uh, things like uh, it, you know, description of its, it's seven feet, seven inches tall, weighs over 500 pounds. Uh, creature looks like it is part human, part ape. It is male. They said big old, reddish hair, big old Sasquatch balls, big old Sasquatch, big old Squatch Squatch nards. Squatch nards. Nards. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> uh, It's got two arms and two legs. I mean, they made that clear in the press release for some weird reason. And it's five fingers on each hand, five toes on each foot. And, uh, you know, a, a couple of other, you know, details and just going down basically, you know, if you pictured a Bigfoot, that's what it looks it's like. A, it's a giant person with hair, it's what hairy, pretty, person. hairy person. Yeah. So now uh, the the body was claimed to have been discovered in the mountains of North Georgia. And the two men who were said to have discovered and in some versions of the story shot the actual creature um, were Rick Dyer and his partner, Matthew Witten. And they actually claimed that that this the one Sasquatch that they had in their, you know, their icebox, essentially, uh, was not the only one that was present when they had done it. They had actually cited three other uh, three other creatures, the same description, uh, in v- various uh, various heights. I think they they assumed that some type of like family unit or something like that. Well, I kind of I kind of dug into that because I was I was curious because I, after watching some stuff from uh, Rick Dyer, who before this was a used car salesman, and Matthew Witten was an ex police officer. Wait, wait, wait! No, he's not a used car salesman. He owned a used car lot. He makes, that makes it clear. Very yes. clear. Sorry, sorry. Come on now, put some yeah. respect on his name. Sorry, my apologies to uh, Rick Dyer. Uh, he he was a used car salesman owner, or lot used car lot used owner. Car lot owner. Um, Big difference. Because I I read things like the initial my initial understanding of this case was that he in fact they shot this thing. That's what it was. But I I couldn't find any um, real like talk like I I would read articles that stated it was shot in the back and then dropped. Um, but most of the interviews and stuff with Rick, they just say they stumbled across this body. And what it was is these three other, like the, I would say the most cohesive 
storyline that I found or the most popular one was that they stumbled upon this corpse of a Bigfoot being dragged by these other three. And they fired a shot, which scared them off. And then it took the, these two guys like five hours or something to drag this body out of the woods. And the whole time they were being cased by these other three. And and Rick, uh, you know, kind of made it seem or he alluded to that he thought they were dragging to dragging this Bigfoot to bury it or eat it. Yeah, well, cannibal or eat it. Cannibalistic. <laughs> so now when they they obtain they. They obtained the body, you know, they put it and froze it in a uh, in a block of ice in the uh, very a la Minnesota Iceman uh, in a, you know, industrial freezer. Or whatever. Stuck it in, stuck it in a freezer. basement freezer. Here's my question really quick, because they did like they, they took him a few days to drag this body out of the woods. Right. That's why it's yeah. so heavy. And then they froze it. But in the meantime, because this is like this is 2008. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Did they get any sweet like fucking? Did they make a photo album of Weekend at Bernie pictures with fucking Sasquatch as they're dragging them out to be like, hey, look what we got draped over their shoulders? <laughs> yeah, uh, they did. They did, and they did take pictures of the Sasquatch that Before they it was had. frozen. Yes, but uh, unfortunately, they were using the worst camera ever because if you thought the Patterson Gimlet film was blurry, <laughs> these photos are. <laughs> You're like you're like what what am I looking at here? This you is you're like you make out like, hair. How close were you? <laughs> you make out hair and like some kind of features. Yeah, have like we, have we just have we ever thought like have you ever considered the fact that maybe that's just Bigfoot's camouflage? Maybe he's just blurry. Uh, he gives off a problem. blurry vibe. That is it. That is a point <clears throat> that has been made on other uh, right. You know, some Bigfoot researchers would would agree and or you know support that theory that he perhaps he just has some kind of. Uh, a natural field or something cloaking field for lack of a better word uh, that makes him blurry in photos it's definitely hollow yes <laughs> <laughs> well so, apparently uh, not so they have the uh, they have the body and they and and so when they have the body they figure the only person that they'll allow to certify that this is a real bigfoot is tom biscardi who at the time was a CEO of Searching for Bigfoot Incorporated, and he was also scheduled to attend and verify that body in person at the press conference, uh, you know, at the request of both Matt and Rick. Now, Tom Biscardi uh, is also the founder of something called the Great American Bigfoot Research Organization, which is something, you know, akin to, uh, what is it, the, uh, I guess, like, west of the Rockies, it's a BFRO um, east of the Rockies, like Midwest of the United States is the Northern Wood Ape Conservancy, probably NWAC. And then I think maybe Tom covers like the East Coast or something. He's uh, also a certified. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, he is. Yeah, he's, a piece of he's a piece of shit. He's a piece of shit. <laughs> Love Snapple. Love Snapple. He does, he does love his Snapple. If loves... I know anything about Tom Biscardi, he, he's Big Snapple guy. That. Well, yeah, he had but... also claimed, you know, he also had a claim to fame because he, you know, he's the only one who can certify that he, uh, that they have a real Bigfoot because he once claimed that he had captured Bigfoot on August 19, 2005 uh, on an appearance on Coast to Coast with George, George Nori. It actually made the claim that they had captured a male beast that weighed over 400 pounds and stood eight feet tall and said he had been presenting, he would present the photos uh, several days after they had captured it. Um, which it actually turned out to be a hoax. The Snapple's photos never materialized. Secret, secret uh, strength. We didn't get it Snapple that day. <laughs> so, His blood wait, sugar dropped. He was okay. talking nonsense. He was just talking nonsense. So wait, he said he's going to present pictures of the Bigfoot he found, I think to George Nori on Coast to Coast, right? Yeah. And yeah. then three days never later, happened. he just said, I gotcha. Or what? How did, how did it come out as a hoax? Never happened. Just like, never it, happened. Well, he, the stuff didn't materialize and... But here's the thing, though. Here's the thing, like, you know, like, I don't want to paint this as like a lot, but you you do see this kind of thing a lot. Is like people, these kinds of people will get on shows. They'll get some, you know, they'll get in in the minute you know, of fame, minute of fame, and they'll make these claims. Yeah, yeah, they got it. Like Alex Alex Jones says it all the time on Rogan, right? He talks about all the evidence. Oh, secret locked up CIA files. I got somewhere. I got somewhere. They they he also I'll show them later. I'll show them later. You never hear anything of it because who cares? I got a you, whole it, tank of gay frogs, Joe. It's a master. It's <laughs> a master soup. 
manipulator working at marketing himself, right? Because he's who cares? No one gives a shit about the follow up. You've already got the spotlight from making the claim. You got the wow did factor. Make the claim? Did they even? Did George even bother offer him some Snapple in exchange? Like, <laughs> listen, dude, we'll give you fucking yeah. a flat of Snapple. Your choice. We want lemonade, peach. Your choice, buddy. <laughs> Uh, in the press release, like, you know, when they were presenting the body, this, you know, back to 2000, uh, 2004 or 2008, sorry, uh, you had uh, ex- them claiming, Rick Dyer and, 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 and Witten, uh, that extensive scientific studies were going to be done on this body by a team of scientists uh, that included a molecular biologist, an anthropologist, a paleontologist, and other scientists. Uh, at an undisclosed location because you can't disclose the location of Bigfoot because in case somebody comes and steals it or, you know, they didn't want anybody anybody interfering with uh, with the results or, or something like this. But the studies, they said, were going to be uh, carefully documented and the findings uh, would be released to the world, you know, uh, which is what Biscardi said when they were going to go ahead before they were going to do the actual press conference. Well, it makes sense. Say you did find a Bigfoot. That would be the greatest scientific discovery of all time. I think everyone, yeah. everybody would want a piece of your Bigfoot. Yeah, because I mean, there's so many, there's so many theories about there in Bigfoot, and you know, this being alien theories theorizing, you know, one of the theories is that perhaps it is some type of alien, interdimensional, that. shape-shifting phase beast comes in and out. That could, yeah, possum mm-hmm. stuffed creature. <laughs> I've always liked the idea that it is some type of, you know, uh. It, some type of alien or extraterrestrial uh, scout, some type of something like that. They drop it in, you know, it's like a takes place in like these, these arboreal forests and stuff like this and kind of goes <laughs> around and, you know, can, like, I don't know, like in a conservatorship or something like that it takes a survey unit or something. <laughs> like I always thought that was a pretty cool idea. But so um, when the day of the press conference comes, uh, they bring out the, you know, they trot out the the pictures of this dead Bigfoot and they they bring out what they what they said were the DNA results. And then they kind of suggested that, you know, it, with all, among all of these results from the DNA studies and everything, that the, the tests had just not had gone awry, that they hadn't produced anything that um, they didn't it, produce what they wanted. They didn't see what it, they well, wanted. they said the first <laughs> test revealed it as human DNA. And then they had a second test done, and then it yeah, had the so presence of possum they're, DNA. They're backpedaling because they're fucking it's fucking manslaughter. Yeah, I shot this <laughs> fucking thing, right? Like, what do you mean? No. <laughs> well, part of it's human. What? Check it again. <laughs> yeah, All right, the sure. other part's possum. Oh, okay. <laughs> we'll split it in the middle. <laughs> and so, as you would expect with something of this uh, this magnitude, this, this that would you know probably shake the the foundations of, you know, academic science and all of that biology, zoology, all of those studies are, are concerned the uh, human, the animal kingdom. You had people coming out of the, the woodwork to come down on this. And especially with so much public, it made such like a big splash and it was just, you know, caught up in the news and it kind of splashed all over the front pages. You had people like Jeffrey Meldrum, who's a professor at Idaho State University and a researcher at Bigfoot, who said that when he looked at the photos at the the exhibition um, in Palo Alto, uh, he found them unconvincing. You know, that's the the least to, <laughs> the nicest way for him to say it's it. a it's a possum. Uh, all right, so um, I, like we have the pic, like the pictures of it, and if you if you you can look them up, uh, but like the pictures show pretty much a Bigfoot, what is the alleged Bigfoot, just sitting in an ice box with its innards kind of just like flopped out on the. Is it at some point? Like when did that I, it, Yeah, that that seems to be. To keep up to date with all things alien theorist theorizing. Follow us across social media on Twitter, Instagram, Patreon, and Facebook. For updates on new videos and content on YouTube, don't forget to click like and subscribe and hit that notifications button to keep those eyes on the skies with alien theorists theorizing.